Hey guys, it's Con for Hollywood Studios here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Jack Rabbit at Kennywood, the very old and very awesome wooden roller coaster. So, starting off with the stats, it measures 40 feet in height, has a drop of 70 feet, reaching a maximum speed of 45 miles an hour. It has a vertical angle of 45 degrees and measures 2,132 feet in track. So, the stats aren't crazy. But that's because this ride was built in 1920, so it is very, very old. And it only cost $50,000 to build back then. Not, I don't think that's adjusted for inflation, but it's very old. And for me, it is my favorite of the three classic wooden coasters at Kennywood. Um, theming, it has no theming, um, but that's because it's an older ride. The trains do look pretty cool, though. Uh, I will say that. But getting right into the ride experience, first you're going to make a left 180 degree turn out of the station and then you're going to drop down into this ravine and you're going to rise up into a tunnel, do a left 180 degree turn, drop down and then head up into the lift hill. And once you reach the top of the lift hill, you'll make a left 180 degree turn and enter the double down. And the double down is the most famous element on this ride because it's said to give some really good airtime and that statement is definitely true. Um, it was the only airtime moment on the ride that I encountered, but it was definitely a good one. You dip, you dip down the first initial drop, and you have a little straightaway, and then you drop down, and you're just ejected out of your seat. It's pretty cool, I must say. So then you rise up, and you turn around again, and then you drop down and rise up into the brakes. So it's definitely not the longest ride in the world. It's pretty short, um, but it's very fun, um, especially considering its age. It's pretty smooth. I rode on a non-wheeled seat, though. I rode in the second to back seat, and I thought it was pretty good. Um, I definitely prefer it to Thunderbolt and um, Racer because this ride I find to be more thrilling and just have a really cool layout. It's very unique how you have this massive drop right out of the station. Very, very cool. So there's really not much else to say about this ride. Again, it's not the greatest ride in the world because it is older. It has a more tame layout, but it's still a great ride. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's not the greatest ride in the world, but again, it's still pretty good, especially considering its very old age. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts on this coaster in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.